you guys. Today I'm gonna do the how to live on less and save more tag. This tag has been going on for a while in kind of the budgeting, finance, minimalism kind of community here on YouTube. And I will link everybody who I know has previously done one of these videos down in the description box. If there's one that I missed or you've done one and I haven't linked it, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure that your video is also included down below in the description box. The very first question is, what are the most important frugal things you do every day to save money? Uh, for me, I would definitely say packing my lunches every day for work saves money because we have a cafeteria in our um, office area and I live and work just outside of like downtown Columbus. So obviously there's tons of restaurants and several options. So packing my lunch saves money each day. And I have a French press that makes me my cold brew coffee. Now I'll be honest, there are days like Friday and the weekends that I do go out and get like Starbucks or Tim Hortons or something, but I try to make it most of the time to use the French press, with a little bit of like almond milk, maybe a little bit of cream or whatnot, just to help me, you know, keep my coffee budget low. Second question, what is your best strategy for saving on utilities? I have a post-it note that I put by my door. So every day when I leave to go to the office or I'm leaving the house for any reason, it reminds me to raise my air conditioning temperature so it's not blowing. I don't need my house to be 70 to 75 degrees when I'm not there. Also, I do have a rule uh, typically at night or when I'm at home, if the temperature outside is 75 or below, the AC is off and the windows are open. I also try to do one load of laundry a week uh, usually that's like underwear, workout clothes, just things that need cleaned. And then I'll, I will try to do my dishes most of the time by hand, like little things here and there. And I try to just run the dishwasher once to twice a week, typically on Sundays after I've meal prepped and then maybe one night during the week. Okay, number three, what is your best tip to save on food and household products? All right, I've got a few. One is regardless of whether it is food or household, make a list when you go shopping. That's pretty standard. For me, I need to avoid clearance or sale items because even if it's not on the list, I'll think, oh, it's on sale. I should totally try it. I mean, I'm trying it at, you know, a cheaper price, but you do that for one product and you want to do it for all and then your list is gone. I wrote, know what meals you'll need for uh, meals each week. So know, know what food you will need to make your meals each week, kind of like keeping to the list. And here's something I recently started doing for household goods. I will write the day that I started using the product on the bottom of the bottle. So I will know how long it takes for me and my household to go through it. I know everybody has a different kind of household situation when it comes to spouse and kids and just your living situation. So if you write on the bottom of your household cleaning bottles, the date you started using it, for me, I know a bottle of like Windex or just home cleaner will last me between four and six months because I've written it on the bottom. I also know that a bottle of like face wash or cleanser will last me two months. So I know if I'm gonna stockpile to not get more than like six or eight of them because that'll last me for the year. Knowledge is power. Number four, what is your best tip to save on clothes? Um, I would say go to secondhand stores, uh, like try to find the places in your area that sell name brand clothing that's been gently used. For me, a lot of the clothes I get are from a shop called Second Chance here in Columbus, and they sell everything like J. Crew, White House Black Market, JCPenney's Macy's, all that good stuff. And their tops can be between like five and $10 for a top. Sometimes the women don't even wear the tops. They still have their original tags on them, but because they're still secondhand, they have to be discounted. This last tip might not be for everybody, but I will wear a piece of clothing two or three times before washing it. If I'm not sweating in it, if I'm just wearing it for a few hours to go to the office and come back and it's just a plain day, there's no stain on it, no sweat, I will put it back on its hanger and I will wear it again. And then once two or three times it has been worn, I will throw it in the wash. What is your best strategy to stay out of debt or pay it down? I'll do one for each. To get out of debt, I would say it's to track everything you're doing to save money and then track how much that is saving you. Like for example, if I'm packing my lunch every day and that saves me $30 to $50 a week, make sure that $30 to $50 goes into the savings. Make sure if you're making your money or your habits work to pay off your debt, you are following through with taking that saved money and putting it into your debt. 
A dollar saved is a dollar earned. Take that money you are earning and put it towards your debt. And to stay out of debt, I would say know your cost of living. Even if you're not in debt, I still recommend making a budget just to know where your money is going. You don't have to be in the red or in debt to assign your money a job. Uh, so I would say definitely know your cost of living, know how much you have to make each month to stay out of debt and plan out how you're going to do that. Are you going to continue to not use credit cards when you're out of debt? Are you going to continue to have a sinking fund? Are you going to continue to assign your money jobs if you use like the cash envelope system or whatever system you are currently using? Number six, please share one thing you do to save money that other people don't know. Okay. I will share three things. One. I do not wear makeup to the office. Makeup is expensive. I no longer buy like all cheap stuff anymore. I do try to buy some really good quality makeup because um, if you're new here, I am a singer and I do perform and I've been booking gigs and concerts and a lot of times that comes with interview and press and photo shoots and just times where I have to look presentable. So I've decided to start buying nicer makeup. But that also means I'm gonna be more picky when I wear it. So I do not wear makeup to the office. If anything, maybe a little bit of like bare minerals powder, maybe a little bit of um, BB cream or moisturizer. Obviously I'm not, I'm coming from the office. I have no lipstick on. Maybe a little bit of like mascara from an old mascara wand. I do keep a tiny box of like emergency makeup in the office because sometimes there is a situation where we have a new client coming in or I'm running a meeting or I'm giving a presentation and I do need to look nice. I do keep a box of makeup in my office. I also fully wash my Tupperware. Like I said earlier, I pack my lunch every day. Some people will leave their Tupperware dirty and put it back in your lunch box and wash it at home. I will wash my Tupperware completely with dish soap and we have a bunch of little cute sponges in the office. Wash it, dry it, put it back in the bag so once it gets home, it does not need to go in my washer and it's not gonna take up dirty space in my sink. And the last thing I do is I carry coupons with me in my wallet. Um, I used to be a big, big couponer that I figured out I was only buying things because they were on sale. Now I've kind of become a minimalist with what coupons I keep. I keep between five and 10 coupons in my wallet at all times and they have to be for things that I will buy on a regular basis. Sometimes they're just like a Starbucks coffee for 99 cents or like a Tim Hortons some product for free. It just doesn't matter what it is. I will carry that coupon in my wallet so there's no time where I think, oh, you know, that's on sale. I can get it for free with that coupon I have. Oh, I left it at home. No, I didn't. It's in my wallet. So three things you may not have known. I don't wear makeup to the office. I completely wash my Tupperware at the office and bring it home completely clean. And I carry my coupons in my wallet. And the last question, how important is it for you to save money? This one I am kind of torn on as well because currently the only debt I have is my mortgage, but I know that will not be forever. This car is gonna need replaced. At some point, you know, other things are gonna come into life and I'm gonna need to have money to prepare for them and be ready for them. So while I will say saving money is important and I know it is and I'm setting aside as much as I can, it is not my entire world. I am not currently, and I'm lucky, I'm not bragging or saying anything, oh look at me, I am lucky that I am currently not swimming my way out of like student loan debt. I never went crazy with credit cards. I never did any of those things. I'm not saying I won't do them. I'm just saying like when I have learned and I will do my best to stay on track and keep growing my funds and save as much money as I can. But with all that being said, saving is not my entire world. I know it's important, but it's not my entire world. It does give me the luxury of knowing I have money coming in, I am prepared if something happens, I can sleep well at night, and more importantly, I can give to others. Right now, I like giving my time more than money, but I know sometimes being able to just give money and fund something or give money to people that need it, it matters, and I like being able to do that. Anyway, that is the how to live on less and save more tag. I'm gonna tag a few people. Go ahead and check my description box below. And if you see your name, you are tagged. And if you don't see your name, 
you are still tagged. I will put those questions that I've answered down below as well. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button. It'll update you to each and every future video. And once again, if you have done this tag and I have not linked your video in this, I definitely want to give you credit for doing this tag. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to include you. You guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.